New details tonight on this attack of a Southwest Airlines flight attendant on a plane coming into San Diego. Now the union for Southwest flight attendants is pushing to strengthen the punishment for unruly passengers. Melanie Townsend has reaction from the union president and a former commercial pilot. It's hard to even put it into words because it's so horrific to think that you would come home to your family with a bloodied face. It should never happen. President of the Flight Attendant Union for Southwest Airlines, Lynn Montgomery, is going to bat for a Southwest flight attendant who was punched in the face after repeatedly telling a passenger to comply with in-flight protocols during a flight from Sacramento to San Diego, a situation that is unfortunately one of many instances of violence on airlines. Normally in a year nationwide, there's probably about 100 to 150 reported passenger misconduct incidents, but at Southwest Airlines from April to May, there's been 477 incidents. So they're more aggressive in nature and it's happening more often. Montgomery is now urging the airline and Federal Aviation Administration to permanently ban those who do not comply with the rules on board. She is also asking to strengthen the air marshal program. With this level of violent attacks occurring on board the aircraft, it's time that they expanded that program, that there were more air marshals on board, and that they get involved when there's a threat towards a flight attendant. And according to the FAA, since January 1st, there have been 2,500 reported incidents of unruly passengers on airplanes, and 1,900 of those are people who did not want to follow the federal mask mandate. When it comes to risks on board aircraft, I think the current data shows this, that your chances of being in a physical altercation or getting in the middle of a physical altercation on a flight are actually greater than contracting coronavirus. Professor and former commercial pilot Scott Miller says the stress of the pandemic and the resurgence of a busy travel season may be leading to the rise of mid-flight meltdowns. However, that is no excuse. Wear your mask, number one. It's a federal mandate, whether you agree with it or not. If you choose not to comply, there will be negative consequences as a passenger. Understand that the employees that are providing the service, they really have a passion for this job. Melanie Townsend with that report, a spokesperson for the FAA says it is strictly enforcing a zero tolerance policy towards passengers and say those who cause disturbances on flights can face expensive fines and federal charges.